Yesterday, the Overseas Disturbance Group distributed hampers to the seniors of the All Saints Anglican Church. Jalissa Hines reports. Yesterday, the Overseas Disturbance Group executed its seventh annual hamper distribution exercise at the All Saints Anglican Church, Trinity Street, New Amsterdam. A representative from the group, Miss Audrey Class, revealed these details about the Overseas Disturbance Group. The group has been established over seven, uh, seven years and it's a group where the, it was the brainchild of Owen Humphrey and um, Colin Wilson. It is The purpose of the group was to bring joy and uh, some amount of relief to persons who are in need. And they would have chosen the All Saints Anglican Church to do that there. The senior citizens are the ones who are going to be benefiting or who benefited today from this gesture. Ms. Class then disclosed why the Christmas season was chosen to carry out the distribution. Okay, choosing the Christmas season to um, do the distribution is because we want to give back. We know that we have been blessed throughout the year and we know that God says that it's good to give. You, you know, you need to be a cheerful giver. So we decided we've been blessed so much. So we are going to be giving back to persons who are in need and we want to be, it's something that makes us happy. So that's why we continue to do this. And we are going to continue to do this years to come with God's grace and, you know, help. And even help from other persons who may want to um, give some amount of assistance and be a part of this too. She then extended gratitude to all the sponsors and donors who made the venture possible. So there's a number of persons that we would like to give our gratitude to and thank you. So starting out with Mr. Colin Wilson, Owen Humphrey, Charles Humphrey, Mark Humphrey, um, Bunting and family, um, we have Delroy Rigby. Um, we want to say, um, give you our condolences. We know that you would have experienced, you know, you have been going through whatever you go through. We want you to know that we are there for you. Um, we have Daniel Thomas, Jason Hercules, we have Valerie Hope, Sandra Wong, Charles Humphrey, Bussett Felix, Sherwin Ford, all those persons. Anyone who I would have not mentioned today, I want to give you my humble apologies, but I want to say thank you to all of you for your assistance. So Colin Wilson and the Trellis family, we miss you. We want to thank you for all that you've been doing for us, everything, all the years that you've been there. Thank you, and we hope to come next year that the pandemic is over and we can have you to fellowship here with us. Additionally, Ms. Class said, It's a sad note that I must apologize to the children and you know, adults of New Amsterdam, because we usually keep our fun there where the kids and the adults will come and they would enjoy the football and other, you know, just fellowship with each other. But unfortunately, because we are in a pandemic and, you know, other um, unforeseen circumstances, we want to apologize to you that we are not going to be having that event this year. Pray for us to come next year. It's going to be bigger and it's going to be better for years to come. So we want to wish you all a wonderful season. Merry Christmas, a prosperous 2022 and years to come. I hope you continue to follow all the COVID protocols set out by the government because we are, we will continue to do that. We will provide support in whatever way possible that we can. So continue to have a wonderful season and see you come 2022 and more years to come. So have a wonderful season. Recipients of the hampers then thank the Overseas Disturbance Group for the thoughtful gesture. If it wasn't for God and His goodness, He would not have touched your hearts so that you would care about other persons. So I say to God be the glory. Thank you. Great thing. Church members who are here, we are thankful for the hamper that will be distributed to the member, the senior members in the church and also the community. We are happy that you know you are with us every year for the past seven years. And we ask them to continue with whatever little we are thankful for. So we are very, very thankful and grateful. And I could say I am rich because of what the Lord has done for us. Give thanks. 
Reporting for Channel 8 News, I am Julissa Hines.